वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग हेलो आई एम ऑडिबल अंशिका जी भूमिका जी यस सर आपकी आवाज आ रही है ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू भूमिका जी प्लीज स्टार्ट uh, करें गुड मॉर्निंग रितेश सर गुड मॉर्निंग जीपी प्रासीन सर एंड गुड मॉर्निंग राजेंद्र सर प्लीज भूमिका जी हेलो एवरीबॉडी हेलो हेलो भूमिका जी आई एम ऑडेबल या यू आर नो प्रॉब्लम दैट प्रिंसिपल सर ऑडेबल अ प्रिंसिपल सर प्रोफेसर राजेश गिरी जी हां राजेंद्र नाउ आई कुड आई जस्ट अनम्यूट माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर पानी हैज नॉट जॉइंड येट आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग हिज नंबर नो प्रॉब्लम सर देन वी कैन स्टार्ट सर हां श्योर सर भूमिका प्लीज हेलो यस सर यस सर प्लीज शॉर्ट में रखो सर को जाना थोड़ा प्लीज हां जी हां जी ठीक है सर एम आई ऑडिबल सर यस नमस्कार एंड अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल प्रेजेंट हेयर इट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल मॉर्निंग हेयर इन इंडिया टुडे इट हैज बिकम ऑल द मोर एंटाइसिंग टुडे एज आई डॉक्टर भूमिका गर योर होस्ट एंड मॉडरेटर वेलकम यू ऑल टू द टू डेज इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस विद अ वाइब्रेंट थीम Sustainable Development in Commerce, Management and Technology, organized by Research Affairs Committee, Rajasthan College, University of Delhi, in collaboration with Indian Commerce Association, Delhi NCR Chapter, and Pinaki Tatlu, India. With the divine blessings of the Almighty, this international conference is going to be a unique online event where the world's top-notch commerce and management fraternity will come together. to present their breakthrough research achievements conduct brainstorming sessions and showcase latest research and developments and develop a network of experts the conference is all set to declare that development in commerce management and technology is a need of the hour for future sustainability with that note and with great pleasure i humbly request professor rajendra kumar professor department of commerce and the convener of research affairs committee rajasthani college to present the opening remarks over to you professor rajendra kumar thank you bhumika ji thank you thank you so much a uh, very good morning respected professor ganga prasad prasain ji uh, chief guest of this conference honorable vice chancellor tripura central university tripura welcome sir a uh, very good morning respected professor balram pani ji chief patron dean of colleges university of delhi welcome sir a very good morning respected professor dudit vanje ji guest of honor director graduate business school bundira university science education zimbabwe a very good morning respected professor rajendra kumar ji director mba program london school of commerce london uk welcome sir a very good morning respected professor athulya ganapala ji dean faculty of management studies uh, bhagwana university sri lanka sri lanka welcome sir very good morning respected t fondiar ji again the graduate business school bondira university science education in zimbabwe welcome sir a very good morning respected professor amit kumar singh ji co patron department of commerce delhi school of economics university of delhi welcome sir a very good morning respected professor madan lal ji patron department of commerce delhi school of economics university of delhi president indian commerce association delhi ncr chapter a very good morning respected professor rk singh ji former head and dean has also joined uh, in this uh, inaugural session welcome welcome sir a very good morning respected professor uh, rajesh giri ji patron and uh, visionary and very dynamic principal rajdhani college university of delhi new delhi welcome sir a very good morning respected to all the participant paper presenters faculty members and research scholar from the different part of the country and abroad welcome you in you all in international conference sustainable development 
in commerce and management and technology organized by research affair committee rajdhani college university of delhi indian commerce association delhi ncr chapter and panaki techno india a very warm welcome you all in the conference sustainable or the sustainability development in business activity is being transformed into an essential component that allowed the organization to succeed and thrives in career in short my speech we could do to the reason sir has going to the in emergency our chief guest so so that i skip uh, my inaugural session formally so that uh, uh, these kinds of word i conclude my welcome address on the international conference a very warm welcome you in this conference and welcome your valuable suggestion sir thank you thank you so much sir bhumika ji please thank you so much professor rajendra kumar sir for your opening remarks now with great pleasure i would like to invite our source of inspiration and motivation our respected principal sir professor rajesh giri for the inaugural address over to you professor rajesh giri sir thanks a lot bhumika good morning Namaste. you are muted sir muted sir i'm sorry <clears throat> good morning uh, one and all who joined this conference from different parts of the world uh, from indian time zone from uh, delhi capital of uh, our great country india on this two days international conference on sustainable development in commerce management and technology uh uh my colleague uh, on research and affair committee rajdhani college in collaboration with indian uh, commerce association ncr chapter they are co organizing in collaboration on this occasion uh, my heartiest welcome to our chief patern professor balram pani ji uh, he is likely to join in a short while uh, dean of colleges and chief guest of this two days international conference Dr. Ganga Prasad Prasain, who is the Vice Chancellor of Tripura University, uh, my many guests of honours uh, who have already joined, my colleague uh, and friends uh, from Department of Commerce, from my own department, convener uh, Prof. Rajendra Prasad of this conference, and co-convener and pattern other patterns. I am really glad to see all of you uh, in this uh, online platform. for this two days conference i would just like to apprise uh, all the participants uh, that delhi university is organizing its centenary this 100th year of its establishment and uh, it's just a coincidence yesterday we celebrated our 99th convocation so congratulations to all and also one very good thing uh, this year uh, uh, we are uh, doing in the university of delhi that is uh, we are in the process to implement uh, national education policy 2020 and this is the essence uh, of this nep 2020 that when we need to do some kind of innovative innovative work research and uh, to fulfill uh, this uh, nep 2020 and uh, this uh, research uh, and uh, development and uh, research which we are supposed to do my students supposed to do in the fourth year my colleagues along with the, my colleagues have been organizing many international and national conferences whether it was in economics economics and political science and i'm especially thankful to my colleagues uh, in the department of commerce particularly professor rajendra kumar and uh, so many professors uh, my eminent scholars department of commerce university of delhi uh, professor r k singh professor a k singh uh, professor madan lal ji and our dean of uh, uh, commerce professor a k singh who are really motivating my colleagues to organize these kind of very interesting uh, conferences 
Uh, I'm a man of physics, but when we talk about development, it relates to all of us. And the two, when we talk about sustainable sustainability, so what we are we are we are we are doing today, how it can be sustainable in the future? What I understand as a common person, when we talk about uh, sustainability in commerce and management, simply it comes to my mind that is what kind of leadership what kind of commitment, what kind of compassion, uh, what kind of ethics uh, we are going to follow. We are, we are going to inculcate in the youth uh, for the future uh, leaders of our country. And when, when we talk about, when it comes to technology, I mean, uh, this is very, very vast because nowadays uh, things are totally global. We are living in a global village. What we do in India, this is, or we, we, we are getting something from abroad. In fact, we can see worldwide. In technology, I mean, there is no end. Every day, every minute, there is innovation, right? But as I'm told by my colleague Rajinder, Mr. Rajinder, that our chief guest is supposed to leave, uh, he is supposed to go somewhere. So I'm also going to cut short, but definitely I will share a few things that. Uh, in conferences like these and other conferences, we know what are the problems, whether we talk about technology, whether we talk about management, but what are the solutions? In technology, if we talk about uh, how, uh, due to this uh, rapid industrialization worldwide, we are, we are having problems in our ecosystem, in the environment, which, which connects everything what we see in our surroundings, whether this is our agriculture, whether this is our health, whatever we talk. So how the sustainable technology will uh, take care of our health and future needs. There is a very famous saying uh, of our uh, father of nation, uh, Mahatma Gandhi, that nature has everything for our need, but not for our greed. So keeping all these things in mind, let us think about sustainable development, sustainable uh, management and the leadership. With these words, once again, uh, my hearty welcome to all the participants. It's not possible to name because my colleague uh, Rajinder, uh, he is so competent that he could uh, invite uh, and he could request, I mean, galaxy of uh, scientists and experts worldwide, which I really, I can see sitting in my office. So thanks a lot. Wish you all the very best. Namaskar. Thank you so much, respected principal sir, for being an impactful leader and motivating all of us to strive for success on a regular basis. Thank you so much, sir, for spreading your ever encouraging aura just at the beginning of this two days international conference. Thank you, sir. Moving ahead, our chief guest of today's inaugural session hardly needs any introduction. Professor Ganga Prasad Prasen, sir, is currently the vice chancellor of Tripura University. Previously, sir was working as Dean School of Social Sciences and Professor of Commerce in Manipur Central University, Imphal. Sir has more than 31 years of teaching and research experience at postgraduate level and 14 years as professor in Manipur University, Imphal. Professor Prasen has also worked as coordinator of Indira Gandhi National Open University, Manipur University Study Center from 2004 to 2020 and honorary secretary of Indian Institute of Public Administration, Manipur Regional Branch since 2006. Sir has published seven books 72 research papers and has also attended and presented papers in more than 90 national and international seminars and conferences in India and abroad. Professor Prasen is the chief editor of the journal Kangle Park Business Review, a peer review research journal published from the Department of Commerce. Professor Prasen has visited many countries on various academic assignments and conducted and addressed in various seminars, workshops, and training programs. 
17 research scholars have been awarded PhD degree under such supervision. Professor Prasen has also completed five major research projects funded by University Grant Commission, Indian Council of Social Sciences Research, New Delhi, and Government of Manipur. Sir is council member of NAC Bengaluru, president of Vidya Bharti Parbhuta Chhetra since 2021, and the chairman of National Education Policy 2020 Implementation Committee for Northeast Region for Siksa Sanskriti Uthan Niyas. Sir, it's our esteemed privilege to have your benign presence among us. Now, I kindly request Professor Ganga Prasad Prasen, sir, to address the gathering and cast the light of his knowledge upon us. We welcome you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Bhuvika, for giving a very long introduction, which I may you not know, deserve. Namaskar and good morning to one and all. Uh, respected Professor Rajesh Giriji, Honorable Principal Ardani College, University of Delhi, Professor Balram Pani, Dean of Colleges, Delhi University, the guest of honor, Dr. Judith Monji, Director, Graduate Business School, Bindura. Sorry for some interruption due to some technical problem because I am not in my station. I am little away. So there is some problem of internet uh, in my place where I am talking now. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. You are audible, sir. Yes, some problem is there. So I am not. Uh, Professor Rajendra Kumar, Director, MBA program, London School of Commerce. Professor Athula. Ganapala, Dean, Faculty of Management Study, University of Sri Lanka. My friend, Professor Madanlal from Delhi University, Professor R.K. Singh also from Delhi University, Professor Amit Kumar Singh from Department of Commerce, Delhi uh, University, Dr. Tanduri Fundira also from University of Science and Education, Zimbabwe, and my, my esteemed friend, Professor Rajendra Kumar, from Rajani College, University of Delhi, galaxy of delegates, paper presenters, resource persons from various uh, parts of India and abroad. At the very outset, I, I convey my greetings and congratulations to the principals of Rajani College, Sri Giriji and my friend, Professor Rajendra Kumar for organizing a program that is international conference on sustainable development in commerce management and technology. And that too, by inviting resource persons from many countries who have specialized in the field of sustainable development in commerce management and technology. As we all know, this is the age of competition. And we must uh, teach, we must propound, we must, uh, you know, encourage the education, the system of education, the discipline, the specialization, which is sustainable for the time to come. Because, you know, the age is of competition. There is competition everywhere in education, in industry, and in all level, there is a competition, therefore, only those branches of education, only those disciplines which are viable, which can be sustained for many, many years to come, can only survive. 
So in this, uh, you know, in this uh, discipline, the subject, commerce and management and technology are closely interconnected. We all know that in Indian universities in the past, during 50s and 60s, all the department of management were originally, you know, started in the department of commerce. And the nomenclature of commerce has never changed since uh, inception in Indian universities. And this is a discipline which uh, is, you know, remaining without any changes and other branches of uh, management, tourism, technology are offshoot from the, you know, commerce discipline. So I consider commerce as a backbone of other discipline, which uh, are very, very relevant in today's competitive environment. Technology is also playing a very, very important role in this age, but the technology is being changing very fast. The technology, which was there before 10 years, before five years, even before two years, is now changing. Therefore, only that technology which can adjust, which can be useful for the future generation, for the development of this country, remain sustained. Therefore, the selection of this topic, that is sustainable development in commerce, management, and technology, is very, very timely and need of the hour. Now, coming to the new education policy 2020, we are designing a courses. We are designing the syllabi, which can sustain for many, many years to come. We are bringing total revolution in the Persian education system by bringing, by redrafting, by teaching the courses, which can sustain for many, many years to come, which can help our future generation for their survival, for their, uh, you know, capacity to face competition in this era of competition. Again, we are talking about Atmanirbhar Bharat. We have to be Atmanirbhar. We have to be self-reliant in the field of education also, along with other area, because we want to be Atmanirbhar in economy and tourism, in, you know, food production and almost all other requirements. Among these requirements, in education also, we are trying to become Atmanirbhar. So to be Atmanirbhar, to make ourselves Atmanirbhar in the years to come, our education must be sustained. The, the, the commerce and management education must sustain for many, many years to come. Then only we can grow in this age of competition. Uh, I will not take much time uh, because I beg excuse from all of you because I have to attend another meeting with the ministry now itself. And I'm also not in my station. I'm a little bit away. I'll not take much time, but last but not the least, uh, I would like to thank Honorable Principal Sri Giriji and uh, my dear friend Rajanji and, and the member of the Organizing Committee of Rajdhani College for inviting me as uh, the chief guest and for giving me such a high honor and respect, sir. I wish that uh, uh, the paper presenters of this two days international conference will present their views on the various uh, theme and sub theme of the sustainable development in commerce management and technology. And uh, I, I understand that the outcome of this uh, international events will be very, very fruitful in the years to come for the development of commerce and management education in this country. I once again congratulate Principal Professor Rajesh Giri and all his team for organizing such a beautiful program and also for inviting many, many research persons from many countries of the world. Namaskar, Bharat Mata Ki Jai. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your lightning words and throwing light onto the importance of competition in today's era. As you rightly mentioned that uh, technology is becoming obsolete very fast. And to survive and cope up with the situation, it is important that we adapt to the technology and commerce education plays a very important role in the same. So moving ahead with this, thank you. I'd like to thank you once again, sir, for uh, giving us such uh, important knowledge about the commerce and education. Our uh, next guest 
does not need any introduction. His aura is spread even before he enters any platform or starts speaking. Professor Balram Pani, sir. Professor Balram Pani, sir, is Dean of Colleges, University of Delhi. Sir is an alumni of Jawaharlal Nehru University, Delhi. Sir's specialization and research interests are environmental sciences and has multiple research papers in reputed journals. Also, sir has various conferences and publications to his credit. Sir has many minor and major projects to his credit, such as study of rise and consumption of mobile phone, electronic gadgets in Delhi region, and material analysis projecting potential electronic waste and their impact on environment uh, innovation projects sponsored by University of Delhi. Sir has many books to his credit. Sir has life membership to various academic societies. So without taking much of time, I would like to request <coughs> Ram Pani sir to kindly enlighten the gathering and it will be our privilege to listen to you sir on this platform. Sir, uh, sir, sir, please, sir, please unmute yourself. Ah, yes, yes, please, yes. Yes, it's Thank okay. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar, Namaskar, sir. Namaskar, Namaskar, Namaskar to everybody. Yeah, no. And uh, good morning to everybody and uh, the respected delegates and distinguished guests, my dear colleagues and student friends. This is all about the international seminar and uh, this college is um, uh, very frequently doing the international seminars and other seminars also. So therefore, I am very much means I am very much happy about that one because one particularly in the academic institutes means uh, what is the importance of the seminars and uh, workshops you know very well. So that's why in that spirit, this college is doing very well, and this is the sustainable development means wherever the development word is coming out means always the development if it will not be sustainable that first type of development is not called as a development. Therefore, means whenever we will do any type of a development. Hello, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. No. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. Means whenever the development. Okay, okay. Means that is the development. Means that is the development word. It is itself. It is the positive word. Means. The particularly the in the commerce and the economics when there is the development is the development of all aspects they will take all the social development, economical development as well as uh, the environmental development means all together they will give the sustainable development if there is that some uh, means somehow I have listened that about the economics if it is the mindless development it should not work well so if it should be the mindful development. And it will take care of all such type of developments so that it will be sustainable for a longer period. And I wish you all the best for this program and this seminar. And definitely means that the research scholars, the faculty members, as well as the students and the participants whosoever have joined here, they will be benefited out of it because many research, very brilliant scholars and brilliant personalities. They have come here and they will deliver their uh, goods. So definitely it will be very, very beneficial to the institution and to the other stakeholders of these institutions. And again, I say namaskar to you all. And I'm thankful to you that you have invited me to this occasion. Thank you. Namaskar. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you so, Thank much, you so much, Professor Balram Pani, sir, for your motivating words. Sir, it's always an honor and our privilege to listen to you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Now, taking the propitious moment ahead, I would like to invite Professor Madan Lal, sir, the patron of this two days international conference and the president of Indian yeah. Commerce Association, Delhi NCR yeah. chapter for his opening remarks. Over to you, Professor Madan Lal, sir. Elena. Thank you, Dr. Bhumika. Uh, respected Professor Ganga Prasad Prasen, Vice Chancellor of Tripura, Tripura University and Chief Guest of today's function, uh, Professor Balram Paniji, Dean of Colleges, uh, Delhi University, and Chief Patron, uh, Dr. 
Judith uh, Mawenje, Bindra University, Zimbabwe, and guest of honor of this conference, Professor Rajendra Kumar, London School of Commerce, UK, uh, guest of honor of the function, Professor Atula Gyanpala, uh, Dean FMS University of Sri Lanka, uh, and guest of honor, uh, Professor Rajesh Giri, dynamic principal of Rajdhani College, uh, Professor Amit Kumarji, uh, my uh, colleague and uh, in the department, Professor uh, Rajendra Kumar, uh, the organizing secretary, and again, uh, a dynamic person in organizing and uh, such acti academic ac activities, Dr. Tandirai Pondira, uh, Professor R.K. Singh, former head and department of commerce, uh, uh, esteemed faculty members uh, from across the country and the world, uh, research scholars, delegates, uh, welcome to you all and namaskar uh, everyone in this conference on international conference on sustainable development in commerce management and technology. Uh, very uh, apt uh, topic taken for uh, discussion uh, in the times where when we are all facing the problems of different kinds of uh, uh, natural uh, comedies and all. There is one uh, shloka, Niti shloka called as I am Nijam Paroveti Ganana Laguchet Sam Udar Charitanam to Basudahiva Kutumbakam. That means this is mine, this that is your, is the thinking of the people with narrow heart. And those who are generous for them, the whole world is the family. The crux of sustainability lies in this very particular, very ancient, uh, this shloka, uh, which talks about if you consider yourself, the whole world as family, then the resources which you are using for your family and you use these resources equally as in the world, then definitely there will not be a problem of uh, unsustainability. However, if this does not happen, then definitely there's a problem. And uh, we as uh, civilians, we civil society or the the human and uh, the species, they get affected out of all these activities. United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, uh, they have created enormous opportunities for businesses, those who are willing to put sustainability at the heart of their operations. But delivering fully on the promise of uh, sustainable and prosperous future, it requires a collaborative effort from uh, the businesses and uh, us as a society also. And in order to do this, uh, the businesses has to be responsible in promoting this sustainable development. Uh, if uh, it is said that if uh, every business uh, goes on sustainable way, then maybe that we are able to uh, tackle this problem uh, very early. However, if opposite happens, then it becomes difficult to uh, be sustainable. As far as business, business is concerned, a business can be sustainable if they put effect on the environment and in the society. And if they fail to do so, then there is degradation, inequality, and social injustice, which is uh, 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 crucial and which is not in the favor of any, any of the nation uh, of the world. Uh, when we talk about the sustainability in business, then we uh, talk about materials uh, used in the manufacturing process, supply chain, greenhouse gases, and uh, the energy sources which we are using, and how much we are contributing to the uh, local society. Uh, all this, uh, I would uh, like to put in uh, one uh, aspect called as uh, the common resources which we are using. Uh, there's one. Uh, economist called as uh, 
uh, English economist, William Lloyd, uh, he actually uh, coined this word uh, common resources or common in, in 1833, uh, uh, talking about uh, the, the pastures uh, used by in uh, villages or uh, uh, the rural areas for grazing the animals, uh, pet animals and all. There you can see that how they are protecting their common resources uh, for the sake of the society. Uh, if they do not do this, then depletion uh, happens and uh, anywhere uh, in the world that will be not in the favor of any, any of the, uh, the species in the uh, world. And uh, uh, United Nations uh, Economic and Social Commission for Asia Pacific, uh, they also uh, defined this common environment resources or common resources. Uh, they said that we people as human beings are sharing common seas and atmospheres, space, biomass, national borders, and uh, forest biodiversity, etc. And uh, uh, if there is no rule for that, if the governments, they do not actually uh, regulate this, then someone is uh, exhausting the resources, other is uh, facing problem of that, not of that. And this may happen uh, when uh, we are not uh, responsible for our use. I have already talked about the things that uh, uh, the shloka uh, talks about. Uh, we in uh, villages, uh, India has a very, uh, great heritage in this case so that India lives in villages. Uh, then we, the ponds, the forest, lakes, all these pastures, they are commonly used uh, by the people and even uh, the uh, people uh, also preserve them. And if they do not, then definitely uh, the problems which we are facing nowadays, they uh, usually happen. Uh, United Nations, uh, uh, environment program also uh, had the study and which talks about uh, uh, the dumping of plastics in the sea. And uh, they have a finding that 199 billion tons of plastic is dumped in the seas. You can see that how much damage we are doing, whether it is a business or it is a commerce or the society they are doing to the environment. And you know, how many species in the sea are getting affected out of that. And it's not only that they are getting affected. There are many species in the world uh, which actually are helping our biodiversity rejuvenate itself. And we, if we uh, these uh, species extinguish, definitely we will have uh, uh, impact on our uh, lives also. Secondly, uh, I'm just pointing out some of the figures. Uh, uh, WHO, it talks about uh, the poor air, air level or say air pollution in the world. It says that 99% of the people in the world, they are consuming dangerous air pollution uh, air. That implies, and you can understand very well that uh, we in Delhi, sitting in Delhi, can very well understand also that uh, what pollution is. That means the pollution leads to a lot of uh, problems uh, with us as a human being, the species, with the environment and all. Many diseases are there, even the heart stroke and all are connected to air pollution, uh, productivity of the people. Uh, during the winter when uh, pollution is very high, we are unable to go out of our houses, means they, they are uh, reducing the productivity of ours, which actually uh, uh, we could have done it. So uh, who, who is responsible and how we take care of this uh, is a need of concern as far as uh, this uh, sustainability is concerned. And one another studies of World Atlas of Diversity estimates that 75% of the earth is degraded. That implies that our earth is also getting affected due to different uh, chemicals and other uh, things which are uh, dumped by uh, 
uh, one or other. And uh, another estimate talks about that. Uh, we actually, uh, uh, when uh, Professor Giri was uh, mentioning about uh, Mahatma Gandhi's uh, uh, saying that uh, nature has given us everything to our deed and not to our greed. Uh, when we are using overusing the resources, when we require one shirt, we are using three shirts, five shirts, and how much it takes to our environment, you can very well understand that uh, in uh, one estimate is there for making one cotton shirt, it takes 2,600 liter water uh, to make that. And then uh, you can uh, understand the uh, use of, overuse of the resources. Uh, Swami Vivekananda also talked about uh, uh, the overuse of the resources, uh, Siddhartha. Well, what they said was that if you are overusing the resources, then in that case, uh, you cannot be uh, happy because uh, there are uh, one one should choose a middle way where neither overuse and nor less use. There are people who are un underusing the resources that means they are not able to reuse the resources. Uh, uh, world uh, is uh, uh, many people are there under uh, poverty, so they are not even able to use uh, according to their need, but there are many people who are overusing their resources and the suggestion is use the middle way where we do not use uh, overuse the resources and uh, help our environment and the society to uh, sustain for longer period of time uh, there are uh, uh, it, it is said uh, uh, by this one research is there of UNEP Harvard Business uh, School and uh, World Economic Forum which talks about that 85% of the clothes uh, reach the dump. That means 85% uh, clothes definitely go to the dumps. And each second, one truck of garbage is burnt. And then you can see how much the severity of this thing. There are uh, uh, resources which uh, one has to be very aware of how we are using it. And if we consider as a business also that whatever resources we are using, we use these as we use for the things for ourselves and our family uh, to protect the environment, to take care of the others also. Whether it talks about rural or it is uh, about urban, uh, whatever the ponds were there, lakes were there, they are now uh, taken over by in the uh, builders to build high-rise buildings and uh, we don't have much of the space uh, to go for morning walk very, very difficult because of air pollution as I talked about and if we do not take care of this change the behavior of ours for these uh, uh, these resources definitely uh, we are spoiling our future generation also. Solutions are awareness of development behavior, habitat restoration, and replacing these fossil fuels with the alternate energy and many, many more, which we also understand, but it will not stop until we make ourselves used to only the using only the needful resources, not the overuse of resources. With these words, I would like to thank the organizers, uh, my co-education partners, uh, uh, the resource persons, delegates, uh, 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 best uh, for these two days. And thank you, Rajdhani College, for associating with us. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Namaskar. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for such enlightening words and uh, briefing us about the actual uh, the topic that we have chosen for this conference. You rightly mentioned the shloka in the beginning, which appropriately says that if, if we consider the entire universe as our family, as as home, there will not be any problem. We will we'll not be treating it as, uh, we'll not be dumping any waste, we'll not be treating it as some other place. So it would be easier for us to sustain the development and we'll be able to keep it for the next generation to come. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for briefing us about it. Moving ahead, we'll, uh, we have another, we have uh, our guest of honor. 
Professor Athula Ganapala, sir. Professor Athula Ganapala, sir, is a professor in tourism management attached to the Department of Tourism Management, Sabagara Muga University in Sri Lanka, SUSL. Currently, sir, is working as the Dean of Faculty of Management Studies at SUSL. Sir, served as the acting vice chancellor of SUSL for nearly one year before appointing the present vice chancellor. Further, sir, is a former head of the Department of Tourism Management and Program Coordinator of the MSc in Ayurvedic Hospital Management degree program. Currently, sir, serves as co-editor-in-chief of South Asia Journal of Tourism and Hospitality. Sir has published his research works in nearly 25 books and book chapters, more than 40 research articles in referred and index journals, and more than 70 international conference presentations. Currently, sir, is an active member of various Sri Lankan and overseas professional and academic bodies such, uh, such as member of board of study of a Sri Lankan Institute of Marketing, SLIM, the vice president of Professional Body Coaches Association, Sri Lanka, country coordinator of Center for Excellence and Sustainable Tourism, project of European Union, Union country coordinator for GIS-based education cooperation project for mountain disaster resilience improvement in South Asia, chairman of the subject benchmarks preparation for Com preparation committee tourism and hospitality of the university grant commission of sri lanka sir is involved in various quality assurance activities of the university system in sri lanka and currently serving as a ugc qac reviewer of the study programs of the state universities also sir serves as a resource person for the ahaed program of ugc Professor Ganapala is serving as uh, his valuable contribution in different capacities to develop SUSL during last five, last 25 years. Sir, it is our great pleasure and honor to have you with us today on this platform and uh, uh, we'll be delighted to listen to your valuable talks on this topic, sir. We welcome you, sir. Okay, uh, good morning. Uh, am I audible to you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You audible, sir. Okay. Okay. I go on. Good morning, good, good afternoon, morning. and good evening, dear ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for more elaborative uh, introduction about me. Thank you very much. Good morning, dear ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Chief Guest Professor Ajay Kumar Sins, Organizing Committee headed by Professor Rajendra Kumar, researchers and presenters, dear ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for inviting me this uh, important conference. Thank you very much for the organizing committee. It gives me great pleasure and honor to address you at this prestigious international conference on sustainable development in commerce, management and technology organized by the Research Affairs Committee, Rajadhani College, University of Delhi, Indian Commerce Association, Delhi NCR chapter, Pinakai Techno India. You have selected a timely important theme for this conference. The entire globe has faced so many issues and challenges that badly affect the sustainability of business organizations. Entire globe is badly affected due to the various changes of the, the macro environments. At the same time, Asia, the South Asia, we are facing so many issues and challenges. For example, during the, the COVID-19 pandemic, the entire, the countries, the business organization, they face so many issues and challenges. Then even this, uh, the post-pandemic era, the organization, especially the business organization, they are suffering from so many issues and challenges, which started during the pandemic. The along with this pandemic, then the, our economy is negatively affected. For example, the increase of oil prices, the economic and political crisis. These are some problems we are currently facing, especially the South Asian countries, including Sri Lanka. As the citizens of this country, we are facing so many issues and challenges. At the same time, 
the industries they are facing so many issues and challenges which affect for their future sustainability the team highlight about four important terms such as the sustainability or sustainable development the second one commerce the third one management and the technology the entire team concerned about the sustainability of the business organization then as the management faculties as the academic related to the management disciplines we are responsible to help the industry to have the sustainable solution for the problem they are currently facing if i able to elaborate about the terms sustainability sustainability means our own needs without compromising the ability of business or ability of future generation to meet their own need the sustainability means meeting our own needs without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs in addition to natural resources we also need social and economic resources the sustainability is not just the environmental or environmentalism it embedded in most definitions of sustainability we also find concern for social equity and economic development the sustainability of business organization depend on three factors also we can say the triple bottom line the people planet and profit people the planet and the profit the most of the organization they are concerned about the profit the business organization the businesses will be handled by the government sector organization the non government organization and the the private sector the private sector organization mainly concerned about the profit rather than any other aspect it is it is good for them but the profit is good for them but the business process will create so many issues and challenges which negatively affect for the people and planet our previous speakers they discuss about the problems the currently the entire globe is facing the india is facing the the sea pollution the pollution of air these are some issues we can earn profit but then our the process the business process will damage the environment then it will damage the natural environment in which we are living the people are also living the communities are living then the community they take their water for irrigations for their cultivations their domestic purposes but this the businesses the factories they remove all the waste material to the nearby the water or sometimes they will remove it to the nearby lake or the sea the hotel industry which are located in the coastal areas they dump all these the waste material to the nearby sea the plastics the polythenes some other harmful harmful chemicals the bacteria will remove then the planets the natural environment will be the polluted the third aspect is the the peoples the the socio and culture these are really important then this process will can damage the social harmony it can create the social unrest the sometime it will create the unemployment the poverty that even the sustainable development goals which declared by the united nations they are going to meet the 17 goals by 2030 therefore the all the organization the business organization we are responsible to meet these goals on the other hand the businesses will be run by the people the people the managers 
the managers would be real leaders. They should provide a good leadership. Otherwise, they concern only about the profit. They will neglect the other aspect of, of the sustainable pillars. For example, socioculture and the environment or people or planet. These are some important aspects we have to. Then there is an imbalance of sustainability. The people can earn profit, but on the other hand, the, the environment will be polluted, the socioculture will be the polluted. Therefore, there should be a well balance between these three pillars, the people, plant, and the, the profit. The in which, in this process, the manager, the leaders, it means the leaders of this business organization, they have to play a key roles. They have to be honest, they have to be knowledgeable, they should have the relevant, relevant skills. Then they have to have a proper, the communication method. The managers should have both hard and soft skills. The most of the managers, they are having the hard skill, but they don't have the soft skill. They cannot understand the heart of the other people. Then the grievances of other people, then these are the big issues the current facing. They're going to satisfy the, the owners, the shareholders, but they are not going to satisfy their employees. Then they have to remember that the properties depend on the people. If the people work hard, if the people are motivated, then they contribute more. Then the, automatically the profit will be increased. Then again, the waste management also one of the important factors. Waste is money. If they can, if they can reduce the, the waste, the like these different concepts, different concepts are there. For example, lean manufacturing, the zero waste, then waste management means increase of the profit. Therefore, the managers, the real leaders can play a major role. Then again, your topic highlight about the technology. The technology can do many things to have the sustainability. The, for example, the currently that we are running the paperless organization, thanks goes to the COVID-19 pandemic. Then we are having we are having online meeting. Even you are conducting this online conference. Then I am I am contributing while I stay in Sri Lanka. Then it means then the technology can do many things. The technology can help to maintain the the sustainability if they use this technology wisely. I will not take much time, your precise time to talk because there are so many people to talk. There are so many researchers are waiting to present. Thank you very much for inviting me for this conference. I wish you all the success, good luck, and wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Atula, to address the gathering on the topic of high relevance in today's world. Sir, you rightly mentioned that the entire globe or the economy is badly impacted due to many challenges, especially in post-COVID era. Sir, you also rightly mentioned uh, that sustainability is not uh, only talking about saving the natural resources, but it is also uh, include social and economic resources as well. And the sustainable solutions that you have mentioned that every individual have to be responsible himself or herself to ensure the sustainable development so that uh, resources uh, uh, can be used by our future generation as well. Thank you so much, sir. With this positive note, I take this opportunity to introduce our guest of honor of today's inaugural session Professor Rajendra Kumar. Professor Kumar is the MBA program director of the London School of Commerce. Professor Kumar has taught students from over 100 countries at the foundation, bachelor's, master's, and the doctoral level. Sir has supervised hundreds of students on the undergraduate and postgraduate and the doctoral level and has over 22 doctoral completions from few British universities. Sir is associated with the LSE group for the last 24 years. 
Professor Rajendra Kumar was a judge of the European Business Awards for two years. Sir was awarded the Student-Led Teaching Fellowship for Outstanding Teaching by the Cardiff Metropolitan University in the year 2012. Professor Kumar was also nominated by the students of the University of the West of Scotland twice for Outstanding Teaching Award. Sir is a senior fellow of the Higher Education Academy and a fellow of the Chartered Management Institute, Chartered Institute of Marketing and the Institute of Consulting UK. Sir, it's our esteemed privilege and indeed an honor to have you with us today. Now, I kindly request Professor Rajendra Kumar to enlighten the gathering with his words of wisdom. Over to you, <coughs> Professor Rajendra Kumar. Thank you, Dr. Bhumika, for the introduction. Good morning to all of you. It's a pleasure to see all of you this morning. The time now here in London is 5.36 a.m. <laughs> yeah. And at the outset, I would like to thank uh, Professor Rajesh Giri and uh, the Dean of uh, Rajdhani College and Professor Rajendra Kumar, the Convener Research Affairs Committee, uh, Department of Commerce, Rajdhani University, University of Delhi for inviting me to, for this conference because sustainable development is the key issue at this point in time. And let me just enlighten by showing a few slides of uh, what is sustainable development all about. Originally, the term sustainable development came in the 18th century in forestry, because in those times, only a certain number of trees were allowed to be cut because there was a long lasting protection of the tree population was guaranteed. This method ensured a continuous supply of wood without reducing resources for forthcoming generations. Because as uh, Professor Madanlal and Professor Rajesh Giri rightly pointed out, there is a greed among uh, corporates at this point in time. So in 1987, the World Commission on Environment and Development defined sustainable development as an ethical concept. And this has become a major definition of sustainable development today. Sustainable development is a development that meets the needs of the present without be compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs. And I was uh, listening to uh, Professor Madanlal, and I remember when I attended one conference on sustainable development, I realized thousands and thousands of liters of waters are wasted if we're manufacturing one pair of jeans. At that day, I stopped buying jeans. <laughs> I thought enough is enough. You know, let me contribute my bit to, you know, and what it's all about. There are two key concepts, the concept of the needs, in particular, the essential needs of the world's poor to which the overriding priority should be given. And the idea of limitations <clears throat> imposed by the state of technology and the social organization, the environment's ability to meet the present and future needs. And today, if you look at, there is so much of waste everywhere. And I think Professor Atula rightly pointed out how we have to bring about zero waste in terms of what we do. Thus, the goals of economic and social development must be defined in terms of sustainability in all countries developed or developing, market-oriented or centrally planned, cited in our common future, World Commission on Environment and Development 1987, but it's still relevant today. Yeah. And uh, Professor Atula was talking about triple bottom line, which is all about sustainable development as defined by Brickland and the model of triple bottom line as an ethical concept which offers ideas concerning sustainable orientation on a macro level. There are three levels. First is the environment level, which is measured uh, by way of environmental sustainability and of the business. And the economic is measured by way of the profit which corporates make. And the social bottom line is accounted for by the human well-being. To what extent a business cares about people and societal needs? Profit alone should not be the motive, yeah? In the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development in Rio de Janeiro in 1992 and the Johannesburg Summit on the Sustainable Development 2002, the Birdland concept of the three pillars has been further elaborated on and it's still relevant today. Elkinton goes on more detail when arguing that companies should not only focus on enhancing its values through profit 
maximization outcome, but also concern about environmental and social issues equally. Yeah, so we need to bear in mind that, you know, whatever we do, and the literature has been trying to define the concept of sustainable development. For example, Bitly 1995, Reese 1990, Wiedemann 1993, Wheeler 1996. The concept of sustainable development is general enough to find applicability in variety of ideas, which makes it both widely accepted as well as widely disputed. Definitions touch on diverse topics, including planning, architecture, ethics, business, agriculture, and psychology. And I rightly uh, uh, remember Professor Madanlal picking on how we don't even have uh, places for us to go for a walk because there is so much of pollution everywhere. Yeah. So, you know, it makes sense. What is sustainable? The debate over the meaning of the concept still continues. Sustainability literature has been able to coalesce on three major areas, environmental protection, social and intergenerational equity, and economic development. And I think we need to take these goals as fundamental to the concept and leave further inquiry into meaning to other research effects. And I'm told there are a lot of papers being presented at this conference today and tomorrow. And I think we should be able to make some meaningful contribution. And previously, Burke and Conroy defined six principles of sustainable development as a means to measure the progress of planned policies to promote the concept. Harmony the, with the nature. I think uh, Professor Rajesh Giri pointed out, you know, what Mahatma Gandhi had told, nature has provided us a lot of things with, to us, but what are we doing in return? Yeah, livable built environment, place-based economy, equity, polluters pay, and responsible regionalism. And I think, how might the population growth be linked with this? Look, there is climate change. The glaciers are melting. Biodiversity loss, ecosystem decline, rapid urbanization, material resource scarcity, global middle class, private to Asia Pacific markets. And you know what's happening to the energy and fuel now? Food security, wealth, water scarcity, deforestation. And what does that mean for sustainability? I think it's you know, food for thought, you know, that you know the key points. Businesses cannot address the challenges of sustainability without working with others. Likewise, neither can governments, communities, or non-governmental organizations. Corporate business especially transcend into national boundaries. It is therefore argued that there is a need to engage with all the stakeholders to communicate, collaborate, and involve. And so when Professor Rajendra Kumar told me, would you like to join? I said, yes, because I think all the research scholars from all over should make a meaningful contribution in whatever little way we can. Each model is complementary, but comes from a different perspective with a different emphasis. So how does this fit with your own ideas from the start of this conference? How do you think business fits into this? How do you think it's affected by these ideas? Does business uh, contribute towards them, in your opinion? And I think, uh, I think, uh, uh, Professor Madanlal again touched on Union, United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. I think there are 17 of them. No poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation, uh, affordable and uh, clean energy, decent work and economic growth, industry innovation and infrastructure, reduced inequalities, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, climate action, life below water, life on land, peace, justice, and strong institutions, and partnership for the goals. So I think I'm told a lot of, uh, there are a lot of topics, but I'm told by Professor Rajendra Kumar that the papers to be presented at this conference will be on digitization and digital marketing, fintech, and sustainable and economic development. I once again thank one and all for inviting me for this conference, and I wish all of you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for uh, enlightening the gathering with the participants and presenters. You rightly mentioned about the importance of sustainable development, and it is important, and it's a high time that we focus on it. 
you rightly uh, mentioned that it is considered that the key points which are uh, to be considered today are the, the climate change that we all uh, witness, the population growth, the deforestation, water scarcity, many more that we need to address. And uh, neither the government nor the NGOs, nor any other solution could be could handle the situation until unless we focus on the solutions. Thank you once again, sir, for uh, uh, briefing about this the topic of the conference. Now, uh, before we end, the, I would like to invite the co-organizing, uh, the co-organizer and the convener of Research Affairs Committee of Rajdhani College, Professor Rajendra Kumar, to say a few words at the end of the uh, inaugural session. So please. Thank you, Ansikaji. I am audible. Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Uh, thank you, and sorry for uh, in the beginning because due to the some uh, uh, lack of the time for our chief guest, so I cannot, uh, in my view, in the uh, on the topic of the sustainability development. So uh, my observation and my feeling about the main emphasis on the commerce and management and especially the technology. So that uh, my point of view that sustainability in business activity is being transferred into the essential component that allow to organization to succeed and thrives. Business enterprises, sustainable development means the adopting the business strategies and activities that meet and needs of the enterprises and its stakeholders. Today, while protecting, sustaining, enhancing the human and natural resources that will need in the future. Business and societies can find approaches that will move toward all the three goals, environmental protection, social well-being and economic development. At the same time, social development is good business in itself, but it creates opportunity for suppliers of green consumers, developers of environmentally safer material and processes, firms that invested in the eco efficiency, and those that engage the or the engage themselves in social well-being. These enterprises will generally have a competitive advantage. They will earn their local community goodwill and see their efforts reflect in the bottom lines. The role of contribution to sustainable de development identify or the indefinite, while all the business enterprises can make a contribution toward its attainment, that ability to make a difference varies by the sector and organization size. So this, how to incorporate sustainability into the strategy planning? I think some of my point of view, first one is the understanding to law. Set up your target priorities of your goals, involvement of the board of directors, engage the stakeholders, measurement of your processes, and maintain the transparency in the field for the develop or the economic development through the sustainable development. The business sectors has become one of the most important means to achieve sustainable development goals. While there are no any particular guidelines or best practices that can be applied to all cases, some key points which have helped business to achieve positive results in their contribution toward the sustainable development specific in area, commerce, management, and technology. I think first one, you can say the focusing on the local problems. The majority of the businesses 
suggest promoting consent dialogue with the internal groups and local communities they are try to understand that local issue and problems to work jointly towards solution adopted to those contest next one is the adopting or the adaptation or learning many companies have founded or found that that is its problem to resolve complex issue only by adopting to the local contest and learning about that contest through the experience next one is the local and global alliances company needs to associate with the public and social institutions in order to share learning techniques and increase joint initiatives and impacts and last one in this point the institutional collaboration that's a very important point global and international institutions should increase their efforts in collaboration with the companies both at the operational and political levels and at the local and global levels also there is a great opportunity to develop joint finance mechanism new technologies and negotiation models all which promote innovation and which favor more inclusive and sustainable growth you can say or the mention the sustainable global sustainable development goals are set of great significant of challenges faced by the governments international organizations civil society and other businesses around the world working together these challenges could be addressed in the next 14 years the sustainable development growth funds create or created thanks to initially or initial contribution by the spain donate a new strategy in how the joint cooperation of the private and public sector can help achieve the 2030 agenda for the sustainable development for the economic growth around the world governance social and environmental sustainability factor are here to stay as a major concern for all businesses not only for the regulators purpose those that and hugely important but also for brand image competitive edge and even long term profits also this is why sustainability can not longer be seen simply as a public relations exercise and why sustainability and strategy management must go hand in hand in the future so these were i thank you thank you so much for uh, the such a wonderful conference and thank you all the chief guest guest of honors guest of honor and uh, all the participants and special thanks to professor r k singh ji has joined also the this such wonderful inaugural session uh, thank you ansika ji please carry on yes sir thank you so much sir for enriching uh, all of us at the end of this conference sustainable development is development that meets the need of the present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs i would like to thank all the dignitaries for sharing their valuable viewpoints and gracing this international conference inaugural session with this we come to the end of the inaugural session and i would like to introduce uh, 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 say a, a formal vote of thanks we would like to extend a gratitude to our chief guest professor ganga prasad prasen sir honorable vice chancellor tripura university central university tripura for taking out time from his busy schedule and gracing our inaugural session and making such a spectacular beginning to it 
I would like to thank our chief patron, Professor Balram Bani, sir, Dean of Colleges, University of Delhi, for gracing out, uh, for sparing our time and giving us such guiding and motivational words right in the beginning. It was indeed a pleasure to listen to you, sir. Thank you once again for being a part of this inaugural session. I would like to extend my gratitude to our guest of honor, Professor Rajendra Kumar, sir, Director, London School of Con Commerce, London, Un United Kingdom, for gracing this inaugural session and imparting such motivational words. Thank you so much, sir. Also, I would like to thank Professor Atula Gana Pala, sir, Dean, Faculty of Management Studies, Sabara Gamuva, University, Sri Lanka, for motivating and present motivating our presenters and participants just at the beginning of this conference. Thank you so much for enriching words, sir. I would like to thank our guest of honor, Dr. Juthid Bevenje, Director, Graduate Business School, Bindura University of Science Education, Zimbabwe. Also, I would like to extend our sincere gratitude to Professor Madan Lal, sir, patron of this conference, for sparing our time and imparting such motivational words and briefing us about the conference topping so very well. Thank you so much, sir. Also, I would like to thank Professor Amit Kumar Singh, sir, for sparing our time and being a part of this international conference. Thank you, sir. I would like to thank our conference convener, Dr. Tondrai. Pundira, Graduate School of Business and Chairperson of Conference and Events Committee, Faculty of Commerce, Hindu University of Science, Education, Zimbabwe, for constant, constantly guiding and motivating us in organizing this event. Consider, please consider our sincere gratitude. Thank you so much, sir. I would also like to thank Professor R.K. Singh, sir, former head and dean Department of Commerce, for joining our inaugural session. Thank you, sir, for joining. Also, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Ajay Solke, sir, Professor Pushpendra Kumar, sir, for joining our inaugural session. Thank you so much, sir. I would also like to thank our principal, sir, Professor Rajesh Giri, for who has always acted as a backbone to each and every or uh, even that we plan to organize and always support us as a guardian. Thank you so much, sir. Without your constant support and uh, encouragement, this wouldn't have been possible. Thank you so much, sir. I would like to thank our source of inspiration, our organizing secretary of this conference and convener of Research Affairs Committee, Rajdhani College, Professor Rajendra Kumar, sir, for constantly guiding, briefing, mentoring us and making this day possible. Thank you so much, sir. I would like to thank our Research Affairs Committee member for exhibiting such cooperation and coordination among themselves. Thank you, everyone. I would also like to thank dear colleagues for constant support and guidance. I would like to thank our technical staff for such technical support and especially Sanjay sir. We have a special mention, Mr. Shivam Tripathi sir, for being always available and being a call and a message away. Thank you so much sir for helping throughout organizing this event. Thank you to all the participants and uh, the presenters for patient listening and showing interest. Thank you so much everyone. Thank you all the degrees for being a part of this inaugural session. Thank you. Namaskar. Thank you so much. Sir. Uh,